and your your continued accumulation of muscle mass back to our original discussion makes you look different to everybody else it is impossible for you to go from 155 pound little skinny fuck to 195 pound useful looking man and not have everybody notice everybody notices whether they want to or not you know you you go from 155 to 195 and somebody you hadn't seen in nine months sees you what's the first thing they're gonna say whoa whoa what have you been doing right that's what they're going to ask you. Accuse you of doing stuff. Because it's, <laughs> it's incredibly impactful. I've never gotten to use impactful. that word before. <laughs> I've always wanted to get to use impactful. <laughs> it's impactful upon them when they, uh, when they see you after an absence and you show up 40 pounds heavier from training. All right. Now, the, let me tell you what they wouldn't do if you showed up 40 pounds heavier from sitting on the couch and eating cheetos and drinking cokes and you're a big fat slob now you've gained you know 40 pounds of body fat from sedentary laziness they're not going to say a word about that are they (laughs) Nobody says a word about that. They'll get home and be like, man. They'll go, I mean, they'll think it. He's getting, they'll say it to all their friends. They'll when he say leaves. it to all their friends. My God. What the fuck happened? What happened to his worthless fat ass? God almighty. But if, if you show up with 40 pounds of useful muscle mass and you're big and strong now, first thing they're going to ask you, and they will ask you, what have you been doing? Right. And then they'll say, "Oh, I got to, I got to start." And I need to start doing that too. And then they'll either do it or they won't. won't. Probably, probably won't. won't. Probably won't because it's hard, right? So the process of getting strong improves your aesthetics without you one time even thinking about improving your aesthetics. It is a side effect. You look better accidentally. Because the process that made you strong makes your appearance improve at the same time. Well, now you're having to babysit any aspect of it. What you want to do in this circumstance is to strengthen these basic human movement patterns so you're stronger. The process of getting stronger means that you grew. And a bigger, stronger man is more useful looking than a little skinny, frail guy with abs and anybody who's tried it knows this even if they're even if they're lying to themselves but the there's no other way to transform your physique than to get bigger and stronger if you're going to transform your physique by losing down to five percent body fat and stay at 155 it's not a transformation that's not transforming because we can't see anything different until you take your shirt off and nobody wants you to take your fucking shirt off yeah unless unless that freaks everybody out don't do that all right don't just voluntarily strip down right because nobody gives a shit about it yeah when, but, when i say transforming it's in terms of this the stuff that we're talking about getting bigger and yes. more significant and, and looking looking more imposing yes. the only way to do that is to get significantly stronger the only way to do that is to not bigger. worry about what you look like but worry about what's on the bar worry about performance what's on the bar right. my squat has gone up 300 pounds that's how you look different yeah, that's the hard part for people is that the aesthetic uh, benefits are tied very closely to performance. Yes, the aesthetic and benefits, you don't get therefore, must be, if not disregarded, de-emphasized. Well, well I don't know. I you mean, know, everybody that – everybody, not every, uh, most well, people yeah. that train, train to look better. Yeah. And they keep training because it makes them look better. Most people that start training, most people that say, you know, I need to get into the gym – do so as a result of the fact that they realize they look like shit. Yep. Right? You just can't And they want to go to the gym to look better. But what I'm telling you is that if you go to the gym and the only motivation you have is to work your body parts separately from the movement patterns 
that we have described, you are not going to look as good as a result of going to the gym as if you had put the aesthetic considerations aside and said, I need to make these moves. I need to get my squat up. I need to get my deadlift up. I need to get my press up, my bench. Hey, guys, this time on Starting Strength Radio, we are going to talk about a real fundamental deal. After we, of course, address comments from the haters, and after we ask a Jew, we are going to talk about the difference between training for strength, which is strengthening normal human movement patterns that we use in every aspect of our lives versus thinking about the body as separate body parts and then training those body parts separately in an attempt to accumulate a whole body workout. One of them works and the other one doesn't. And we'll talk about that on Starting Strength Radio. 